everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution! <gasps> what have I got in store for you today? Well, I've spent hours, actually, setting up this video when I didn't really need to, but, um, some mods made me make mistakes that probably I shouldn't have made, but ended up making them anyway because I'm that clever. Uh, so we are back in the Aquatic Battle Arena! But we're not here, just for the aquatic battle arena. No, as you can see, we've still got some mosasaurs swimming about. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for the super secret of today? It is... What has he done? He's made a giant cake. <laughs> oh my God, I don't even know how to start with this thing. Jesus. So I made it. I made it all complete. I made it exactly as you see it, basically. Um, but what I had done that I hadn't even realized, um, I had deleted the monorail. This thing. So the arrival point, it's called an arrival point, which you should be able to delete. Normally you can't delete this. Um, I wonder in sandbox if you, if it, that's normal, but I can do that. You can also delete this as well. The um, monorail arrival tunnel for $5. Actually, how much is this one? Oh, that one actually cost money. And then proceeded to do all of this. However, I couldn't power any of it because there was no path connection to like the arrival point. And even when I placed down a monorail station and tied it to this, it didn't count it. So obviously there's a code where this is the only arrival thing that you can have. Uh, no matter, even if you delete that tunnel, I think this will probably still count. Either way, I'm not doing that. <laughs> We've got like a, a cake battle royale. Now the reason why I'm doing this, and um, we've got a big cake, with the way the mod is at the moment, can't go back into the original battle arena that we've been using for years, what feels like. Because the way the the, over, the data has been changed with us having a map expansion and being able to do uh, things like this, I think the map expansion is the main problem. The terrain I don't think is too bad, but the, because of the map ex expansion, all of my old save files, if I load in, it'll do something crazy with them. Um, and then they'll be corrupted. If I switch back and then try and open it, it'll be corrupted. So they're okay, and I can revisit them. It just means that I would need to uninstall that mod to do so. And I can't be bothered to do that, not really. Why are we here today? Well, first things first, I wanted to showcase this. Um, this, just after we made the Mosasaur video, would you believe another Mosasaur came out? Oh no. <laughs> oh God. It is of titanic proportions, and it is a mosasaur. Don't be fooled by its, um, its Diplodocus name and everything. It's a mosasaur. So, here it is. It is ginormous. Look at it. And we will compare it in size to, you know, the other, um, the other mosasaurs we've got. But, hot damn. Now, this mod was created by, I think, Look at that! That looks so cool! I think it was Digital Duck. Was it Digital Duck? I think it was Digital Duck. Digital Duck. But look at it floating out of the water there. Oh, they look so good. Oh, look, we've got the little Mosasaur. <laughs> it's like it's got babies! Because Acrocanthosaurus does not attack Diplodocus. We could have babies and a mama Spino. <laughs> so there we go. We got, we got the two little Baba Moses. And we've got uh, the big Moses. Look at that! That looks so cool! Uh, actually, uh, you know, I want to kind of keep this alive, so I will place down a feeder for it. Okay, so we've made a slight detour. We've gone to... Is it looking for water? It's looking for water. Well, it's all around you! Actually, it'll be weird when it goes to drink, because its head will go through the floor. Let's have a look. I just want to have a look at it. Uh, you know what? It's not too bad. And because of Diplodocus is slow, like walk animation, it it's really not too bad. Like with this guy, with the Acrocanthosaurus, you have like the hip swaying and stuff, and it definitely does look like it's walking. Whereas because the Diplodocus is so slow, and its movements don't really impact, you know, its spine too much, it just looks like it's generally just floating around. But without further ado, let's go to the cake battle arena. Or the big cheesecake, whatever you want to call it. No, that's a Velociraptor, James. This, nope, that's an Indominus Rex. There it is, the Excoveraptor. I think, is that how you say its name? This was created by the very talented Psyker, um, who I saw it on Twitter. 
Now this creature in particular uh, was supposed to feature in Jurassic Park 4. Um, now it comes to us. Oh, I thought it was invisible there for a second. Oh. Yeah, look at that. It's got its own sound effects and everything. That looks so cool. So thankfully, this thing is a separate dinosaur. It does not replace anything. So if you if you can mod, like you have this on computer, um, you can just simply download the file, copy and paste it into a into your OVL folder, and you're good. You want to delete it? Delete the folder. Sorted. None of this weird unpacking of certain assets or maybe, you know, forgetting what's what. You can quite clearly see that's that. Delete it, copy it, paste it, whatever will make no difference to your game. Um, but look at that. Oh, that looks so good. Not only does it come with, you know, this model and its own custom sound effects, but also its own image. Um, I don't know if it has its own Dynopedia sort of thing. There it is, look at that, that looks awesome. So you've got a 100% Deinonychus genome and a 100% Allosaurus de genome. So you can legit make it in the game. That's crazy, we've got a, like, when, when's the last time we got hybrids? What, Spinoraptor, Ankylodocus, Indoraptor, there was a Doctor Wu DLC. This is a custom made hybrid that works in game and unlocks when you have Deinonychus genome and Allosaur genome with custom sound effects, a custom picture, and is simple and easy to install. But for whatever reason, whenever we go into maps, it thinks of it as a Brachiosaur. <laughs> well, we'll not worry about it, we'll not linger on that too much. But look at that, that looks so cool. I don't know, a Therizinosaurus with those claws. Looks like something from Dino Crisis with the the almost um, villainous, villainous eye. Yeah, I guess you could call it. It's just it's just evil through and through, almost to a comedic effect. <laughs> it's an edgy teen's favorite dinosaur. Look at the feathers on it too. We've got oh, look at the detail on the back there. A little bit of spine. I don't know how it's uh, Allosaurus DNA. Uh, I, I've never read the script for Jurassic Park 4. I don't know whether it was a hybrid. I probably should look. Where's Cl Clayton? Clayton, where are you? Did he, did he even say anything? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, but of course, I mean, because it's a hybrid, it actually has a terrible um, stat line. Or when it comes to health, like life expectancy is 32. <laughs> and then how much does it cost? Oh, 700,000. So using it in game, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those hybrids. It's gonna get a good star rating, 218, but it's not gonna live very long. But there are, however, if we click, oh, well, oops. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. We've got another one. I did want to check if there were different skins. So I've made one for each skin. However, yeah, there's no difference, I don't think, between the two. Look, at I don't know how they can hold those claws. They look so heavy. But my question to you, is how do they fare against a Dilophosaurus? So of course, it wouldn't be a battle arena without having something battle something else. Um, oh, look at that skin. I can't remember who made it, but it looks glorious. I call this one the volcanic pizza. Um, I can't, oh, yep, they're attacking. So, what are we thinking, guys? Dilophosaurus versus this thing? Will the hybrid win? Probably. But let's see, let's give it a shot. Oh God, we're tilting the camera. Well, there you go, completely missed him. <laughs> oh, a spit from the Dilophosaurus, however. A second attack from that, is it dead? Ooh. Ooh, now all of these are base genome. I just wanted to test it. Oh, that looks like it. Yep, yeah, is that it? Dilophosaurus did get one hit in, although it was probably like a pity hit. <laughs> oh, bless it. No, killed. You evil bugger you! So how did you fare? Oh, never mind, it didn't do any damage to it at all. <laughs> Great! What about maybe a slightly tougher Herarosaurus? Yeah, look at that, Jurassic Park, the game colors! Now will you fare any better? Nom nom nom. <laughs> oh, I forgot! There's nothing in here for them to- Oh god, that's a lot of water, in it? Uh, a little bit less. Oh, and you want to attack- Oh god, oh, it's this one! On top of Cheesecake Mountain, who will win? Oh, first hit coming from the Excavaraptor. 
We'll have, oh, no, there's a, oh, finally a bite from Evera. Oh, uh, sorry, Herosaurus. Herosaurus. Oh, no way. No way. Two bites already? Okay, okay. Oh, some blood. Oh, some paling of the skin due to blood loss. But are they quite close? Mm. I'm expecting it, it won't stand a chance against something like Spinoraptor, though. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, is that it? Did it beat Herosaurus? It beat Herosaurus. There you go. Although it was not as easy this time. Whoa! Look at those eyes. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> Little grinning face. I wonder if there was ever concept for Excover Raptor and that's how we did them. Or how we made them. Well, there you go. Let's see. How did you do? 66%. All right, then. Um, hmm. Seeing as Excover Raptors don't really have a problem with each other, we might as release a few more, eh? I feel like we're getting into the golden age of the modern community. We've had so many breakthroughs recently. You've had the King Kong stuff, and now you've got this. You've got the, like, I'm not even talking about models in particular. You've got breaking out of the boundaries that were set by Frontier. All right, guys, let's see you take on a Spino flipping Raptor. Let's ramp up the pressure a little bit. <laughs> no, he's running away. <laughs> I think Spider-Raptor is one of those creatures that can take on small carnivores though, right? Is it looking for water? It's looking for- Ah, oh, look at that! <laughs> His little claws. <laughs> He's got a grabby hand. Are they- are they- are they scared? Oh, they are panicking! No, bless them, no! <laughs> Wait, can they not take on Spider-Raptor? No. Yeah, we'll get rid of Spider-Raptor. I thought they would be able to. He would have- he would have started to fight something before now. All right then, pro Ceratosaurus, you can come out then. The sheer incline. They're gonna crash straight into it. How's it gonna do it? Are you ready? You're witnessing history. Very slowly and delicately, it ascends over. I thought it was gonna go whoop. And while that goes on, we got Granlon taking on the Excuba Raptor. Oh, he's already got a dart in him. <laughs> Down I go. Oh, in the ankle, the Achilles heel. You're gonna fall? Nope. All right then. Well, I'm assuming that the pro Ceratosaurus, yeah, is probably gonna die. <laughs> oh, bless it. Looks so cool, I love that one long. The model looks awesome. Yeah! What we got, Velociraptor, Deinonychus. Let's see if these can um, take it on. Now, what will be interesting is if Deinonychus, um, cause Deinonychus is the, uh, is the feathered version now. Yeah, look at that. Now, technically, they are made from the same genome. So I'm wondering whether they'll get on. I mean, these guys look very similar. However, kind of looks like they're about to start a fight. Um, uh, yep, I'm gonna say they're about to start a fight. No, his claws are bigger than yours. We'll call this one the Edge Lord Rumble. I don't know who's got the most attack out of all the small carnivores. I'm wondering if Velociraptor does. Oh, another hit. How's the Excavator after? That's the second hit. Oh, it's all bloody feathered now! Ooh, is it gonna be close? Oh, he takes him out. I think that's it. But sometimes they do get like one and in rare cases like this, two hits, I think. No! Well, did he do any damage? 70%. Oh! Wait, no, they're, they're dead. There's no, there's no fight beginning. Oh, and these guys are fighting as well! I thought they would get on! He's poisoned? <gasps> I didn't even realize Excavaraptor has poison? Oh, oh, is that, was that in the script? Did I have a venomous bite or something? Oh, that is cool. All right, guys. We've, it's, a, it's time we enter the big leagues. There is one dinosaur that I know for sure can start a fight with a small carnivore. And that is Indoraptor. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he going for it already? Oh, it is! He's picked a fight with the flippin' Alpha! Oh, this is awesome! Place your bets, guys. Who's gonna win? Indoraptor or the Excavaraptor? Too many raptors. Oh, he goes first! What? You nutter! You don't take on Indoraptor! Oh, look, Indoraptor's got a scar on it already. Oh, no. No, not looking good now. Two hits. Are they gonna turn? Are they gonna do the little shimmy sham? Oh, another one! Yes, I don't think he's gonna win. I don't think he's gonna win. No. 
No, he beat a he beat a face interrupter. Not only that, it's also poison. I mean, I think it takes like 40% health off or so something really high. I don't know the specifics. Oh, oh, they got love what he shot. Look at them. They're also like getting ready. Like, yes, we will kill you. We are panicking, but we're gonna kill you. Oh, I want it. I want it to survive just so I can see like the final kill animation for Excavator Raptor. Now that could be because Indoraptor has like superior regeneration, but I think once it hits 20%, it might die. It might just curl up and say dying. I don't know. Is it gonna do it? 19%? Ooh. What are you gonna do? Oh, the alpha's on low health as well. Oh, whoops. That's probably because there's no food. There you go, have some food. Ah, oh, straight towards it. Not wasting any time. That's probably why the interrupter's just walking away. Because this guy doesn't want to start a fight because it's dying. <laughs> oh, interrupter. I think it's trying to get towards Spinoraptor. It's trying to kill Spinoraptor <laughs> before it dies. Like, no, I will kill one thing. <laughs> Look at that animation. That's weird. It sort of pops back to normal when I go away. It's like, yep, regular walking, poisoned. Hup, poison. Is it gonna kill it? Is it gonna get a kill? Yay, got a kill. <laughs> Just before it died, it kind of goes for the cheap shop. Typical Indoraptor. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. The poison. Yep. It's still poisoned at 1%. Even if it wasn't dehydrated, I think it was going to die. Are you ready? No. In comes Indominus Rex. I'd be worried, dude. I'd be worried. So hold on. What was the attack? 102 attack. 35 defense. And Indoraptor, 92 and 45 defense. So they're quite close. Wait, he's got some modifications on him? That's not fair. <laughs> I, do, I honestly don't think these guys can fight you. Look at them, Scarpa. <laughs> when Frontier doesn't give us the dinosaurs we want, oh, we'll take the dinosaurs we want and we'll make them. <laughs> Just like little baby Moses and Mama Mose. So cute. That looks like she's giving birth now. Look at the hanging round it though. That's so weird. Like there's a lot of meat locked up in you, love. Well, anyway, guys, we're gonna have to wrap it up here. If you enjoyed it, I know it was a short one. Um, don't worry. Something, uh, something very exciting is coming around the corner. Just you wait. Sweet dreams. Get it? Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.